Hey guys, it's Frankie, Simply Imaginary People, and this is a tutorial of how to change the body under a mesh. So this works for converting bobby clothes to normal clothes, it works for converting adult clothes to teen clothes, and male to female if you want to boobless female or whatever. Anyway. So what you can do is you're just going to import whatever mesh it is that you want to switch. So let's say the hoodie I was making. Actually, let's load something that doesn't going to kill my game. Right. So I'm going to pretend I don't have all the meshes for this and that I'm converting an outfit that isn't mine. So I'll just load it up. Go to Mesh, Export, let's just go to this desktop as test, export obviously somewhere a bit more better, as the object. And then let me just run my key pose. And go to Blender and Import. You'll see it happily in Blender here. Just make sure it doesn't have any uh, materials. Let's go to edit mode, and all you're going to do is you are going to A to unselect it all, and then just hover over the human pieces, so not the clothing mesh, and press L. So for a top, you can usually see it here. You will probably have hands in the neck, and for all the legs, you might have ankles and waist. Make sure you have all of it, and then you can press the delete buttons or delete edges. It doesn't matter. Sometimes you'll get some little leftover pieces, which you can usually also see here. Here and wherever the hand would be over here, just those as well. Right, now import whatever you want. So I'm going to say teen male. Teen male body. I don't need the pants. Right, so teen male body fits perfectly into adult male clothes. So pretty much that worked. Just for laughs. I'm going to import um, I got female body, let me just find one. AF body, AF body. Right, so that's an AF body and you can see let's get solid here. That this doesn't really fit. So theoretically I could, but it's very difficult to get this right because you move the birds along, go to sculpt mode. And just like, I don't know what. Sculpted a bit more so that uh, she has boobs and. I'm not very good at this, and I'm trying to do it fast, so. Obviously, make sure the neck part is closest to the neck. You're free to sculpt however you feel like sculpting. Okay, I thought those were a bit high, but whatever. This is more useful if you're converting from like the bobby mesh to the other mesh. Make sure though that you um, import a 
import an object that has pants on it just to make sure that the top fits over pants. Being that the teen mesh and the adult mesh are pretty much the same, I don't need to worry about that. No. Because I'm not editing it. Right. When you're done with that, I mean they are slightly different as you can see here at clips, but I'm just going to have rather buff looking teens because I am way too lazy to edit all my meshes to fit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to save myself the effort of doing it in Marvelous, uh, in Milkshake, and I'm just going to already delete the body underneath that I don't need. Simple. Easy way to do this is to select the entire thing and then press C and click your actual mouse. So uh, click your roll, I don't know how you call it, the thing that you zoom in with, the scroll thing. And then the edges, and then it says delete edges. And then I can see which of these faces I can delete. Like. Can't see those. Okay, so then I can go here and then just right click. Ones I can still see. And then say delete. Doing that. And then just I usually add my body in the uh, in Blender because it's so much easier to see what I'm doing. Right. Once you've completed that, just select the top and the mesh and say file, export, wavefront object. Selection only, don't write materials and objects of object groups. And save it as something new. I'm just going to save it back to where I was. Open the milkshake. Gonna make sure that the mesh doesn't have any weird lines here or there or anything else super odd, which it doesn't, so it's good, just select both, regroup them, and then rename them. Right, now I'm just going to check something. the male body has the hands in the same place because that's the main issue if the hands are in the wrong place. Project mm. I don't know where I was going. Okay, the male does so I can just Continue. If you um, hands aren't in the same place, then you might find that you need to just reassign bones completely. But this makes it a lot easier. So it also works if you're converting stuff to teen female. So what you're now going to do is go back to your thing, go high level of detail, export as dot wuzzo, and say test. Okay. Oops. No. And then export this as. Obviously, call it something more useful. I'm just going to call them test and test two because I'll delete them later. And then take test two and use test and say replace all bone assignments. Also, morph it. I need to make a teen male morph. I haven't done that yet, but you guys know how to morph. And take young adult and Elder and tick teen and then say yes to the reload. Right, 
right, you can see the neck doesn't line up. And now if we import test 2, it doesn't line up. Still got to fix neck seams, same way I usually do. Um, but yeah, you have successfully and perfectly converted a male to a team male, or whatever you feel like doing. The good thing is that you can use the bones of the original, which means you won't have any bone assignment issues if you didn't change the mesh. If you went in Blender and started sculpting a shitload of it, I would completely reassign bones using a reference from whatever age or gender that you have. But being that I didn't edit it, you can just leave it. So this is pretty much the easiest way to make adult clothes to teens. Obviously with uh, with this, like you're going to have slightly more butch uh, teen males and slightly bigger boob teen females. But again, if you just you can kind of just do that with sliders, I guess. Yeah, so that was it.